Have you ever wondered how investing works? Or perhaps you've heard the term investing but aren't sure what it actually involves. Well today's your lucky day because we're here to break it all down into bite-sized pieces. Investing is all about making your money work for you, by putting it into ventures like stocks, bonds, real estate and more. It's a fascinating world filled with risk, reward and endless possibilities. So, are you ready to dive in? Stick around to find out how you can make your money work for you. First up, we have stocks, but what are they exactly? Stocks, also known as shares, represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you're buying a piece of that company. You become a shareholder, which means you now have a claim on part of the company's assets and earnings. But, how do they work? Companies issue stocks to raise money for various reasons, such as expanding their business or paying off debt. These stocks are then bought and sold on various stock exchanges. The price of a stock is determined by supply and demand in the market. Now let's talk about the potential risks and rewards. Stocks can be a high-risk, high-reward investment. The price of a stock can go up, leading to capital gains, or down, resulting in losses. Some stocks also pay dividends, which are a portion of the company's earnings distributed to shareholders. Now that you understand stocks, let's move on to bonds. Next in line we have bonds. It might sound complicated but it's actually quite simple. Bonds are essentially IOUs. When you purchase a bond you're lending money to the issuer, whether that be a corporation or a government entity. In return, the issuer promises to pay you back the full amount at a specified maturity date, along with regular interest payments known as coupon payments. Now, how do bonds fare in terms of risk and reward? Generally bonds are considered a safer bet compared to stocks, however they also typically offer lower returns. Key factors that can affect a bond's risk level include interest rates and credit ratings, when interest rates rise, bond prices fall, and vice versa. Credit ratings on the other hand assess the credit worthiness of the issuer. A higher rating signifies lesser risk of default, so, there you have it. The basics of bonds in a nutshell. With bonds covered, let's dive into real estate. Some people prefer to invest in tangible assets like real estate, but why is that? Well, imagine owning a property. You can see it, touch it, even live in it. That's the beauty of real estate investing. It involves purchasing property, either to resell for a profit or to rent out for a steady stream of income. This could be residential, commercial or even industrial property. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Investing in real estate comes with risks. Property values can fluctuate, tenants can be unpredictable, and unforeseen maintenance costs can crop up. But with proper research, real estate can offer substantial returns and a sense of security that some find lacking in other investment forms. Beyond real estate, there are other investment options to consider. Mutual funds, for instance, offer a way to pool your money with other investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other securities. Exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, function similarly, but can be bought and sold on an exchange like individual stocks. They offer a balance of diversification and flexibility. Lastly, commodities like gold, oil or even agricultural products can be an interesting way to diversify your portfolio. These assets can act as a hedge against inflation and provide an alternative to traditional securities. Investing can seem overwhelming, but with knowledge comes confidence. So equip yourself with information, assess your risk tolerance and make informed investment decisions. It's your money after all, make it work for you. Now that we've covered the basics of investing, it's time to recap. We've delved into the world of stocks, where buying a share means owning a piece of a company. We've explored bonds, essentially loans you give to organizations with the promise of repayment with interest. Then, we ventured into the realm of real estate, an investment option that offers potential for both income and appreciation. But remember, each of these investments carries its own set of risks and rewards. Stocks can offer high returns but also come with high risk. Bonds are generally safer, but offer lower returns. Real estate, while tangible and often stable, requires a significant upfront investment. Understanding these fundamentals equips you to make informed decisions about where to put your money. But remember, diversification is key to managing risk. Remember, investing is a journey, and every journey begins with a single step. Consider this your first step. Happy investing!